Hey everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways. And today I wanted to show you guys this really great portable washer I got. About, um, actually I got it about a week or so ago. And it's called the Panda. And it's, um, the B45 model, which can handle about 10 pounds of clothes. They have a B36 that does, um, 7 pounds. But um, I chose the slightly bigger one. And as you can see, the size of it here goes straight up to my um, bathroom sink. It doesn't take up a lot of room at all. And I think it weighs only like 28 pounds, so it's super easy to move. So I'm going to try and show you the inside here. This is a... Uh, the wash area and that little uh, hose hooks up to your faucet and I'll show you that in a minute there's um, a lint catcher in there but that doesn't work very well so I came up with my own lint trap and now uh, you wash in this side and then this side over here is where you'll um, spin dry the clothes and it just really works great so I'm gonna get it going and show you how it works okay now I hooked up the hose to the faucet and then I'm gonna hook it into this little inlet here for the wash now these hoses look kind of flimsy but I keep hearing that they do last a long time so I hope so they feel better than what they look the only thing with this is, is you can't do really hot water so if you're going to want to soak something or do whites in really hot water, you're going to probably have to do that in your sink instead. But anyhow, so you just get uh, get that hooked up and then get your water going. And it goes directly into the tub. And I'll show you that in a second here. And this is my laundry soap. And what it really is is just a, a dry mixture of Fells, naphtha, borax, and a little bit of washing soda. Because we have really hard water and the washing soda helps soften it. And it w works really good for this because the manufacturer said to use um, laundry detergent for front loading machines. You want something that's not going to suds up. I mean, you can use a regular one, I suppose, but you got to really watch how much you put in here so it doesn't get too sudsy. So I'm going to, this is like a coffee scoop. So I'm going to, it's almost full, but I don't think I'm going to need any more than that. And I'm just going to put it in there and let it um, fill up. Okay, it's almost getting to the point I wanted at. Um, manufacturer says not to fill it above this lint catcher here. So I usually do it a little bit um, right towards the bottom here if I'm doing like a whole full load. And um, some people will agitate it to get the soap mixed in. But I think by putting my soap in early the way I did, um, that helps to mix it up as the water's filling it. So anyhow, I'm going to start putting my stuff in. I have a pair of my husband's jeans, and these are kind of heavier winter jeans. They're a big size too. He wears um, 38 by 36. And then a uh, bath towel here. And then a pair of sweatpants with a matching sweatshirt. I'm just going to push that down in there and shut the water off. Okay, now over here is the timer for how long you want your washer to go. Here is the dial for what, um, what kind of load you're doing. Is it normal or is it heavy? So I'm going to turn it to heavy, 
And he does have some salt and stuff on his jeans. So I'm going to let this go a while. So I'm going to put this to probably 12 minutes. And I'll show you how that goes. It agitates pretty well. In fact, sometimes it, it does it um, so hard that if you're washing something a little more delicate, I would definitely put it in a garment bag. But um, if you have like a really delicate um, sweater or something like that, I would just wash it, you know, in the sink. I would hand wash it. Now this is a little harder because it is on heavy load. But um, yeah, some really small things or lightweight things, you know, that you don't want um, washed too hard. Just put them in one of those little mesh bags. Okay, the wash is done. It stopped. So the next thing we need to do is turn this dial here from heavy to drain. And well, hang on, before I do that, I'm going to show you. Here's the drain hose. It comes from back behind, and you can um, hook it. There's a little thing on here. Hook it onto there, and then put it up into your sink, or some people drain it directly into their toilet. It just depends on whatever your setup is. And then on here, I just put a little bit of pantyhose with a bread tie to um, act as my lint catcher. And it works pretty well. So, we're going to drain it. Here we go. And there it goes. And that'll get all of the wash water out of there. Now, what I'm really liking about this machine, besides it being portable and lightweight, is when Paul and I decide, um, well not decide, when we go to live full time in our off-grid cabin, and that's about two years from now, I can bring this with and use it. The washing machine part here only uses 240 watts of power, and the spin side uses 120. So I think that'll work out great for us. You see it's still draining. Um, when it slows down, then you can um, shut it off. Some people don't wait for it to drain completely. They just pull the, you know, the clothes out, sopping wet, and then put it over in this side. But I prefer just to, might as well let it drain as much as you can. But anyhow, I'll show you how this goes. There's two lids, and it won't work unless both lids are down. And then inside here, is this thing and you have to put that on top of the clothes in order for it to spin you can push on it and get some of the extra um, water out but um, I forgot one time to put it in and holy cow the machine just makes a horrible noise so you'll remember to put it in okay we're just about done draining so I'm gonna shut that cycle off Now we'll move the clothes over and what this does is it just spins the clothes very quickly to get as much water out as possible you want to put your heaviest stuff in first and all of these are kind of heavy so um, I'm not going to put everything in the spin the spin doesn't hold as much as the wash uh, the wash can hold up to 10 pounds, but I think the spin is like 7 pounds. I just know it's less. So I'm going to put that pair of jeans in there and then maybe that sweat top. Well, yeah, I'll do that. That's the bottom. So we'll put the top in here. Sorry about the camera thing here. I just can't do it with the tripod, so I have to hold it. Push that down in there, put this lid and this lid. And um, I only really need to do it for a couple of minutes. So you get that going. I don't even 
think the full two minutes, a minute and a half. And you can see that the water comes draining out of the drain tube here. And this really moves fast. It really spins it good. It's not um, spinning now. So I'm gonna pull this out. And I'm just gonna put this stuff in a basket that I have sitting. Now this is already, it's like damp. There is no drippy water, no anything in here. And now I'm gonna put this other stuff in. This is, this is soaking wet. See the water in there? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this on for a little over a minute, but before I do that, I can actually start getting the water going for my rinse cycle. So I'm going to have that going while I'm spinning the other side. Not balanced right, did you hear that? You hear a loud noise, then you got to get in there and redo it. Try it again. And it's good to go. Okay, while it's spinning and this is filling, I wanted to show you how much fabric softener I'm using. And it's very little. It's less than half a capsule. And I'm going to pour that in like I did the detergent before, you know, I'm all the way filled up with my water. And then I think it just mixes good. But um, some people do two rinses and then, you know, they add their fabric softener on the second rinse. I don't really think I need to do that. Um, at least not with this load of laundry here. Or um, some people don't use fabric softener. Maybe they use, you know, um, vinegar or whatever or nothing at all. You don't have to. But um, you really don't need to use a lot. So um, just remember, less is more when it comes to this machine. So the other side stops spinning. And I have my other poles in the basket already. This is getting close to where I want it. So I'm going to take the heavy jeans out and put those in first. You're always going to want to do your heavy stuff. So put your heavier stuff in first. It's more important in the spin cycle, but just what I always did in my, my other machines that I had. Let that get going in there. Push it down a little bit. That's good enough with the water. Shut that off. And then the same thing with the timer. You can put heavy or normal for your rinse, however you want to do it. I don't think it needs to be heavy for the rinse. So I'm going to put it on three minutes. That's more than enough. And then we'll finish up in a minute. Well, um, the wash is still rinsing here I wanted to show you something else there's another inlet here for water and um, I haven't really used it yet but um, 
I think it's really good for if you were to say do a really small load maybe just a couple shirts or some socks and underwear after you're washing them and you put them in here to spin you could then hook up your water hose here to this inlet and let it fill up with water and just soak them for a minute or two and then hit the spin and then that way you're rinsing and spinning and everything right in here you don't have to move it back to this other side it probably uses a little less water on this side as well but um, that's what this extra one is for okay the last of the clothes are um, spun dry here pull them out and it's just unbelievable how dry this this machine gets your clothes that alone is worth it and this machine cost me um, 200 bucks on Amazon and it was I think like $30 shipping and for me it's wonderful so anyways when you're finally done and you're gonna stop using your machine just put this back in there and um, then you're gonna take your drain holes and not your drain holes your inlet holes off and see there will sometimes be water in there so make sure that's all drained out and then I just put it back in the machine here So that you know nothing gets misplaced I also put in um, my fabric softener and my detergent so everything's in one spot I leave the lids open so it can air dry and um, this does not fit well in my bathroom here so I put mine in my kitchen but it's so lightweight it's easy to move like I said it's it's 28 pounds and if you have a decent floor you can even slide it across but anyhow, that's my review and demo of the Panda, here we go, the Panda XPB45. It does 10 pounds of clothes, and it's wonderful. If you live in an apartment or anywhere small, and you don't have a, a room for a full-size washer and dryer, or you're tired of going to the laundromat, get yourself one of these. Now it's winter here in Wisconsin, it's January, so I can't hang outside, but you know, I have a couple lines up here in the house that I can use, and then the rest of it, shirts and stuff, I just put on hangers and I hang them on my shower rod, and because they spin the dry, the clothes so dry, most of your stuff will be um, fully dry within a couple of hours. Heavy jeans like my husband's, I'll usually do those at night, and they're dry by morning. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment and subscribe. That would be great. It was nice talking to you. And you take care.